In today's video, I'm going to go over some of the food tests. First up, testing for starch and carbohydrates. So, first of all, you have your solution in a little dish or a jar. We want to find out if it contains starch. So to do this, you're going to add several drops of iodine to the solution. If starch is present, the solution should turn to a blue slash black type colour. Now, reducing sugars. So what essentially is a reducing sugar? These sugars essentially reduce another molecule. In chemistry, reduction is the gain of electrons. So these sugars react by donating electrons to another molecule, i.e. the other molecule is gaining, being reduced by this sugar. All simple sugars, all monosaccharides are reducing sugars. However, some, albeit many, disaccharides are also reducing sugars. Remember, not all. So what is the test to find out if you have got a reducing sugar? This test is Benedict's test. So, you add a few drops of Benedict's solution to your solution that you believe may contain the reducing sugar. In a test tube, you heat this in a water bath at 80 degrees Celsius for 3 minutes. If a reducing sugar is present, the colour should change from blue to a red slash orange type colour. Remember the conditions, 3 minutes at 80 degrees Celsius in a water bath. What about non-reducing sugars? This is a different test. So. If your test results come back negative and says this is a non-reducing sugar, there is another way you can do it. Boil this sugar with hydrochloric acid. This will hydrolyse any sugars present. For example, sucrose is a non-reducing sugar, however it's made of fructose and glucose, which are both reducing sugars. This will split sucrose into the fructose and the glucose molecules. You can then cool the solution and then add sodium hydrogen carbonate and alkaline solution. You can then repeat the test and it should come back positive. Remember though, the test will come back positive for reducing sugars, not because sucrose is there, but because fructose and glucose have been separated and they are both reducing sugars. Now, to test for protein. This test is once again a very simple test. It's the burette test. So you add burette solution to the sample. If a protein is present, the solution will turn to a lilac colour. Now, the test for lipids. So, you have your solution you believe may contain lipids in a test tube, there are a number of steps to this test. First of all, add ethanol to this solution and then mix it. Now, have distilled water in a clean test tube and pour the solution you've just mixed, including the ethanol and your lipids, into this water. Now, after mixing, if lipids are present, you should have H2O on the bottom and a layer of cloudy white emulsion on top. This proves lipids are present in your original solution. And finally, so remember, the starch test. Add iodine. If starch is present, it will turn to a bluey black colour. For reducing sugar, add Benedict's solution. If a reducing sugar is present, it should turn to orange or red. So, if that comes back negative, try again. Boil the solution in hydrochloric acid. Cool it down. Add sodium hydrogen carbonate. And then repeat the test. The lipid test. Add ethanol to your solution, pour your new solution into distilled water, if a lipid is present a white emulsion will form on top and water will form below. 